apparently we're live. Um, so welcome to viewers of uh, Python community and abroad. Um, we are going to be running through uh, a ceremony today designed as part of uh, the implementation of PEP 458 for PyPI, the Python package index. This ceremony is intended to create uh, the initial set of keys necessary to secure um, uh, the tough repository or to sign for the tough repository publicly. Um, it was intended to be done in person, um, which uh, if you're aware of anything else going on in the world, didn't end up occurring. Um, so this ceremony has been designed so that we can perform this in a way that is transparent and visible to the Python community and stored for archival purposes uh, so that people can understand uh, the basis of the security for Tuff. So uh, this project in total was uh, funded by Facebook Research uh, through a grant at the end of 2018 and is finally coming to uh, actual like tangible results. Um, so a huge thank you to Facebook. And uh, additionally, this is a really good opportunity to speak about the way that funding the Python Software Foundation can help to implement important features that have larger timelines than some contributors might be able to do on volunteer time or that maintainers might be able to do on their own time as well. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about the PSF, you can go to python.org and look at the, the PSF tab or go to python.org slash PSF. Speaking of the PSF, my name is Ernest Durbin, and I am uh, the Director of Infrastructure for the Python Software Foundation. Um, I have been uh, caught into this role as being the person running all of this uh, because of that position. But along with me is uh, William Woodruff. Uh, William is a security engineer at uh, Trail of Bits. Um, that's the primary contractor for this project, and William has been doing the majority of the work for PyPI, including designing the ceremony. So William's gonna be helping me as I uh, progress through this um, to make sure that I don't uh, make a mistake um, and also just to keep me company. Um, additionally, we have a couple of folks who are observing in a Zoom uh, that's uh, sort of where William is. Um, and there will be an opportunity for them to ask any questions uh, or to participate with any feedback as well. Um, they've been invited because they're stakeholders in either the administration of PyPI or a member of the PSF board. Um, those are some of the parties who will be holding the, the keys that we're going to generate um, today. Um, so that's sort of the broad overview. Um, William, if you have anything to input regarding like the actual like magical cryptography bits or interesting things that people might like to know before we uh, move forward. Um, yeah, I could talk very briefly about some of the cryptographic and uh, sort, of the, sort of the structure of, of the ceremony. Um, so the end result of the ceremony will be that we, we will have provisioned uh, six different hardware security modules, which you can actually see um, in the lower left on the screen right here. Um, three of, uh, of uh, two different models, specifically we have three UVHSM2s and uh, three Nitro key HSMs, or I believe Nitro HSMs, whatever their uh, model designator is. Um, the idea is to spread, uh, to assign actually two uh, secret keys to each of these HSMs, uh, one for the tough uh, root metadata and one for the tough, I believe, top level targets metadata, um, if I'm remembering correctly off the top of my head. Um, each of these keys uh, will then be um, the public half of these keys will be extracted and used uh, or, or and deployed with PIP and other popular um, uh, resolvers for the Python package index uh, to verify the tough metadata that those package resolvers download as part of the um, dependency resolution and installation steps. Uh, the uh, key choices that we've made for these HSMs are based on a combination of sort of uh, popular, uh, popular, relatively secure uh, crypto systems as well as the hardware limitations of HSMs themselves. Um, in, in an ideal world, we would have chosen Ed 25519 uh, for HSMs, but un uh, unfortunately, for sort of complex KCS 11 reasons, uh, that wasn't possible. So we've gone with um, two sweet B ciphers, P256 and P384, alternating between uh, 
the two models are HSM, so there's sort of a, a maximum spread of uh, resistance to both hardware faults as well as um, weaknesses in the suites themselves. So, um, you know, like, like I said, in, in an ideal world, uh, things would be slightly different, but as they are, uh, these suites are considered relatively secure and not uh, uh, not susceptible to long-term uh, faults the way that, uh, for example, RSA 2048 might be in a couple of years. Which is scary, but good. <laughs> Um, um, the, the idea is to get these keys uh, longevity uh, and to enable the Python community to rely on these, these top level keys for uh, as long as they wish before performing the ceremony. Sweet. So if you have um, specific like details that you want to get into, um, the two places to really look would be PEP458 itself, as well as the repository that uh, defines this um, well, it's cut off there. So that defines this, which is, uh, I'm going to drop in chat. Uh, yeah. HTTPS github.com slash PSF slash PSF hyphen tough hyphen run book. Um, so that repository has the, 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 the design of the ceremony as well as very nitty gritty details. Um, before we actually start the ceremony, uh, we're going to open up for two rounds of questions. The first round of questions is going to go to the folks who are participating in the Zoom call on the back end of this. Um, these uh, include, at the moment, um, another PyPI administrator, as well as two PSF board members. Um, the reason that they're joining and able to participate in that way is that they will be stakeholders and they will be key holders, um, or maybe key holders. Um, so we invited them to have a little bit more participation um, just for that purpose. So if any of you have questions, uh, you're welcome to unmute and ask them now. Um, otherwise, we're going to go and offer a chance to answer some questions out of the YouTube live chat um, before we get started. Holding, holding. Cool. So it looks like we have no questions in the Zoom. Um, if you have any questions, you can feel welcome to place them into live chat. Um, and I do see one already. Uh, which keys in particular, just root keys? Is that correct? Uh, root and targets my data. Okay. Those are the two long-lived offline keys inside of the tough crypto, uh, cryptographic model. Great. Um, and then uh, Tony asked the question of if those are UBHSMs. Yes. Yeah, so we have uh, UBHSM2s and uh, Nitro key HSMs as well. Um, if that's Tony Garciari, I want to say thank you for merging my uh, UBHSM.RS uh, fix. <laughs> it, it is. I, I needed, yes, I needed, I needed that to fix uh, <coughs> one of the things for the ceremony, so thank you for that. Oh, and, and, and that's another really great shout out to give while we wait for any more questions to, to dwindle in. Um, VMware, um, Datadog, the Secure Systems Lab at NYU have all provided uh, volunteer support to this effort thus far uh, in pretty meaningful ways as well. Um, so a yeah, huge shout out to them. Uh, it's It's been a little bit of a extended project for a number of reasons, and their participation is really what sort of unblocked a lot of things along the way. Um, we have another question. Uh, will the video recording of this ceremony be available on a platform besides YouTube? Um, it, it can be. Um, I think that's a really good question, and I would appreciate, uh, I, I recognize you, uh, if you would email me or message me on uh, Twitter to remind me of that. Thank you, Seth. Um, Neil asks, any threshold crypto? I don't know uh, what that it, means. It depends on what you mean by threshold. Uh, the system that we've designed has a three of six threshold model, if, if that's what you mean. Uh, in particular, three keys will be required uh, as part of the tough verification process that's being built for, for PEP458. Uh, the idea being that, um, yeah, you could lose up to 50% of the keys or have 50% of the keys destroyed or compromised. Sweet. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen. But... All right. <laughs> um, so I think we're ready to sort of jump then. Um, so I am currently in my office um, and I've set up uh, everything according to the pre-ceremony that's defined. Um, and we're currently recording via the Zoom call. 
via OBS and via YouTube. Um, so I think that's everything we need to start. Is that correct? Yep, that addresses uh, steps one and two. Uh, for step three, you just want to verify that um, all of your devices are on airplane mode, yep. except for the, uh, sorry, the communication computer. Great, so I have two iPhones and an Apple Watch, which I'm going to place in airplane mode. That's one. I guess that doesn't quite show. He's having a rough time with that uh, replacement white screen. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That goes over there. And then... Can you see the airplane guy? Uh, there you go. Yep. Okie dokie. All right, so... Yeah, the, the the side the side camera is, is, is very washed out uh, because of some of the lighting. Um, so we're going to be using this camera primarily to see what's going on. Um, and then this is just a contrast. It, oh, the whole thing still does work. So we can try that as well. Um, all right. So let's watch. No other personal so devices. Trusted offline machine. Great. So... Uh, the Raspberry Pi is here, so it's in a sealed, tamper-proof baggie from the um, initial uh, offline that I did, um, and that is my signature and date. So I will open that on up. Own standard Raspberry Pi. Uh, this keyboard. USB. Yeah, uh, classic superposition. Uh, additionally, I will need uh, the SD card and flash drive that was prepared earlier, also in a sealed tamper proof bag. That is my signature date and information. So that's just a flash drive and an SD card. Great. And then this is just a power brick. Uh, all that's coming up to the desk is power, and it's going through a USB adapter. So now we wait. So this is where everything could go off the rails, I guess, right? Yeah, this is the uh, takeoff portion of the ceremony. Hey, look at that. Uh, awesome. So this thumb drive is going to be used to actually bring uh, the public keys that are gen the public keys from the uh, keys that are generated on the devices uh, over to the the real world, if you will. Um, so it's just been formatted. There's nothing interesting going on. Um, this SD card is a fresh image from uh, the. Uh, from from the preparation for the tough run book and we're booted so we can continue on so i need to log in with yep now we're logged in uh um let's now the uh, flash storage thing so i'm going to insert the flash storage And I'm going to type a bunch of stuff. Yep. 
and all right okay yes and now uh, because we're doing this ceremony for the very first time the hsms are still in their original uh oem packaging so i think we will take pictures of them or rather hold them up to the camera in that packaging rather than tamper of it okay I i'll probably take a photo with the camera on this as well it's a good idea yeah so do we, do we have an order we want to go in why don't we just go top to bottom okay all right so yeah. The, you do the sense first. Almost lost it off the side. Uh, so this is. Ugh. Yeah. Why, why don't you hold it up so you can see the tamper ribbon ceiling? Obviously, this is you know. Yeah. That serial show? No. No. Uh, we 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 the serial should also be printed on UV just sense themselves. So we should be able to show it from from this packaging. Uh, here, don't, uh, but don't open them yet. Just. Uh, Oh, show it to them and yeah. I just got so excited to use the, the sharp thing. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, and these ones unfortunately came from the factory, not in tamper evident bags, but. This camera does struggle. All right, so I should, should I take pictures then? Yeah, I would take pictures and just have the serial uh, visible in each one. So one, three, two, zero, zero, four, six, one. One three two zero zero four six zero. Yeah, these serial numbers are our public information for anybody who's curious. Um, as far as I know, they are uniquely printed from the, the factory. One three two zero zero four six two. Uh, there's no visible. Uh... Yeah, the uh, the nitrate SMs have a serial number, but it's baked into uh, cards themselves. So. Um, we can we can say those serials out loud when the ceremony comes out. Okay. Um, so let's move on to step eight, which is the very first vision step. Um, so for this one, let's take the topmost UVHSM, and we're going to designate this one UVHSM one. Uh, so UVHSM one is one three two zero zero four six one. How pleasant. Nice. Okay. So this is going to be our very first P256 revision one. Open it now. Yep. It's stuck in there nicely, isn't it? Yep. And so the serial should also be printed on the back of it. Yep. So I'm confirming that's one three two zero zero four six one. Is there any chance that that's gonna play? No, play you don't want to try it with the the closer the other camera you have. Okay, how do I make sure it gets there? Yep, there you go. <laughs> any luck? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna take take a close yeah. up picture though. I should have figured out how to, how to stream from my camera to the, or from my phone. Um, all right, so I need to write that down. Yep. Uh, serial is one, three, two, zero, zero. Four six one. All right. Okay. So that takes us to step two of the UVHSM stuff. Uh, in this case, it is a fresh UVHSM, so we don't need to perform a physical reset. Uh, okay. Which brings us to step three. 
uh, uh, time to turn into the computer. Before I insert it, I'm going to put the little lanyard on it to make sure I can actually get it out. Haha. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm inserting it into the Raspberry Pi. I see a flash drive, a keyboard, and two empty ports. There's now exactly one UBHSM plugged in. Okay. Um, so now we're going to run the actual main provision and stuff. Uh, in this case, because we are on UBHSM1, um, our type is P256. All right. Okay. So it's confirmed on. Is it? Does, can you read that? Uh, I can read. Discovered a UB a UBHSM code UBHSM with serial number, and the serial number is a little bit too far away. Okay. Uh, zero zero one two. Uh, zero zero one three two. Zero zero four something one. Four six four, one. Four six one. Okay, I can do that. Okay. So confirm that's the same. Okay. Oh, and then I will need to open up the other baggie. Yes. Alright, so while it's doing its thing. This is a bag containing uh, pre generated pins. For all of our uh, devices, um, those pins uh, were, were generated using uh, dice and magic. Uh, no, it was just a, a grid of numbers with two rolls to, to pick a specific number uh, or a character as we went. So in this bag, I have. Uh, this is just a uh, a sheet that can be used to disambiguate my handwriting, if necessary, at a later date. Um, and I have six copies of that to store with um, with the actual data or with the actual envelope. So one, two, three for UB. One, two, three for Nitro. Um, so I'm just going to set these there and then i'll need this in a moment yes so okay. create a new auth key i must remember it I will yes remember so this, it. this is the key that has been written down already yep. generated by the dice ceremony. all right so at this point i need to type that key into the keyboard so i probably should not have that visible yes uh just so you know the upper screen currently has your keyboard partially visible thank you uh, let's see. That is. Can you put your hands on the keyboard just so I can see where they they rest? Um, why don't you? Can you push the keyboard in like maybe one inch? I think that's good. Okay. I'll double check. Yeah. Uh, I can I can see the numeric component. Yeah, but I'm, I won't be using that. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I'm unfolding that, and I see the key generated earlier. And I'm going to confirm it. Okay. And now you're going to re-enter that same password so that you can create the keys. All right. All right, fantastic. Um, now let's check for the ceremony products. So I just need to... All right, and that is the... Okay. All right. So you should have a uh, dura formatted certificate as well as two attestations and two public keys. That was close. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this uh, the 
I'm going to set this over with my notes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I have a dot dir for the cert, a dot dir for the root attestation, a dot pub for the root pub key, a dot dir for the targets attestation, and a dot pub for the targets pub key. Okay. Perfect. Um, so now we have to do this unfortunate step, which is we have to convert the durs into, um, oh, sorry, the, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, we have to convert the public keys into, uh, Tem formatted because they're they're currently formatted in like a raw compressed EC form. All right, and we were on 256. Is that correct? Yes, we're on type P 256. Oh, I didn't give it a file name. How about that? And we do it first to the root pub key. And then once again for the targets pub key. And now let's confirm that uh, this isn't part, this is, I just realized it's an errata. We should confirm that those are in fact generated. Yeah, I just. Um, so I should have dot PM for those. Let's make a note of that. Okay. Um, so have you confirmed that there are dot PEMs for those two public keys? Yep, I see a root pub key dot PEM and a targets pub key dot PEM. Awesome, okay. In that case, we're gonna change directory back to the main book directory. Okay. Okay, and we are going to remove the HSM. It's removed. Okay. Uh, now you have to seal the provisioned HSM as well as its uh, folded authentication key in the new tamper evident bag. Okay. Now I'm going to use the box for it. And the sticky. Yep. Do you want to remove the the, the uh, uh, key chain thing from it so that you can use it for other ones? Oh no, I have I have extra. Oh, awesome. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> here's that. So I'll grab a brand new tamper evident bag. This is P S F top U B H S M one. Yep. Um, and the serial the zero prefix yeah. serial number as well. So that's zero zero one three two zero zero. Four, six, one. That's gone in a tamper evident bag with bag number five eight eight five six eight zero four. I'm gonna sort of roll it up so it doesn't have much of needless air in there. Step, you have to just hold it up to the camera. Okay. Yes, and I, I'm going to read out the serial number on the bag too. Five eight eight five six eight zero four. Did I get that right? That's what I see. Okay. Cool. That looks good to me. Okay. All right. In that case, we're going to move on to UBHSM two. All right. Where should I put, should I leave this on camera? I suppose, or does it matter at this point? Um, now that it is sealed, why don't you put it, um, see, uh, put it like above the un, un uh, provision HSMs. Okay. In like the corner there. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, let's move on to UB HSM 2, uh, signing body ID number 2. So that's, uh, all the way back at the top. All right, so I need to write down the serial. I have one three two zero zero. 
four six zero, which is really bothering my zero based indexing brain. But <coughs> yeah. Not a great time to drop it on the floor, right? Yeah. box aside. I'm going to confirm the little number. Any chance? Nope. Uh, one, three. Uh, nope. The rest okay. is not, uh, not visible to me. Maybe this time it'll work. No. It's, it's no. just all. Yeah, I would just take pictures as with the And I currently see a thumb drive and a keyboard plugged in, two empty slots for USB, and insert it. And there's now one and exactly one UB key HSM installed. Okay. Um, so now we are going to repeat the main UBHSM provisioning steps. This time, because we were on UBHSM2, zero body, or signing body ID number two, we're using a P384 key. Program will reset and reprovision your UB HSM2 for tough purposes. Make sure to read the run book. Yep. All right. Uh, the screen's displaying Ubico HSM with serial number 00132-00460. Is that legible? Uh, that, that is just barely legible for me. Um, but I'm going to, yeah, 0013 uh, was it R zero zero four six zero? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So it's online, and I did see a comment in the chat to not move my hands as much while I'm typing, which makes sense. Yes. So I have the pre-generated key for UBHS uh, two. Yeah. Is there enough light behind it that it... Yeah, yeah. so the, the, the UBHSM2 is, is visible, but nothing else is, okay. at least from, from my perspective. Um, and your keyboard position looks good this time. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to try to get it somewhere so I can see it. All right, so that's one entry. Oh, did you press enter? Or... Yep. Okay. Sorry, I didn't read the screen. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, and now re enter it one, one more time. ceremony products using serial number 132-00460. Okay, I'm going to get out of the... All right, so I'm going to go into... Four, six. Yep. Four, six, zero. Okay, so oh. uh, let's confirm our public keys and attestations. 
Yes, I see dot .ders for the cert root attestation and the targets attestation. I see dot .pubs for the root pub key and the targets pub key. Awesome. Okay. Um, from there, let's run our raw AC points to PEM script. Thank you. Yeah, passing it P384 for the type. We're going to start with the root pub key. And then we're going to do the targets pub key. All right. And now I see dot pems for the targets pub key and the root pub key. Awesome. Okay. In that case, um, let's change directories back to the web directory. Okay. Okay. Uh, remove the HSM. A new tamper evident bag. I don't. You can only really buy these in bulk, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with all the rest. <laughs> I'm just going to like send people things. Yeah, but I think the order was like for 500 or something, right? So <laughs> I wonder if you could use one as like a postcard. You know, the way you can like mail a coconut. <laughs> uh, we got the date 20, 20, 10, 30. Special instructions are when they're right for the last one. P, S, F, Tufts, U, B, K, or U, B, H, S, M, two, and I have a serial number of zero zero one three two. Zero zero. I almost wrote down the one for we that we didn't provision mm -hmm. yet. Four six zero. Great, and this is a uh, bag number A five eight eight five six eight zero three. So I have the provision key and the pen. Oh, and I'm going to roll out all the air again. Okay, uh, and I will read off to the serial number A5885603. All right. provision the third and final UBHSM, which is going to be signing body ID UBHSM3. Yep, and so I have 1320462. Sorry, could you read that again? I'm just going to write it down. Yep. 1320462. I'm also supposed to write that down. One three two zero zero four six two. The fact that they are out of order is driving me nuts already. <laughs> I should have been I should have been more thoughtful. I'll try not to drop it this time. That's nearly happened twice. Okay. I'm getting better at it. All right, so the device inside has serial number 1320462. We're going to feign an attempt to maybe. This time. <laughs> it might show up on the local recording, which is what I'll mm. upload to YouTube yeah. if possible. Um, but then I'm also going to take a photograph. Yeah. Well, picture. Uh, an image, a photograph is something different. All right, so we're gonna 
put the lanyard in. All right, I've got a flash drive, a keyboard, two empty USB-A ports, in goes the HSM. And I can confirm there's exactly one UBHSM inside of the Raspberry Pi. Okay. So now we are going to run the UBHSM provision program once again. This time, because our signing body ID is UBHSM3, our key type is P256. P256. All right. Back into secret mode. Looks good. Okay. Yes, continue. Uh, the program has found a Ubico HSM with serial number 00132 Okay. Yep. Again. 00132. Zero zero four six two. All right, so it's gonna do its thing. I'm gonna take a sip of water. I'm unfortunately out of coffee. I actually really like the idea that Drew Wenzel Wenzel had, which is uh, send Python stickers to random people in the leftover tamper evidence bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're ready to roll. Uh, I'm going to okay. type slow and still. And I'm going to confirm it. That's happy. I'm gonna go out of. Yeah, I felt that that was about to happen, so, so I'm freaking out. All right, so there's the okay. key. Um, all right, so, so now we need. Go ahead. Yep, let's check for um, the presence of the ceremony products uh, subdirectory, which should be uh, 00132.00462. And confirm two. All right, so I see a dot pub. For the root pub key, target pub key, I see dot ders for the targets attestation, the root attestation, and the cert. Okay, perfect. Um, let's uh, change. Oh, we are in that directory. Mm -hmm. So let's run the raw EC points to PM script and pass it P256 as its type. Six. And then 00132462. I'm going to start with the root pub key. Yeah, I don't remember if I said it, but for anybody who's listening, the reason why we have to run this script is because when we export the pub keys and the uh, HSM certificate itself, uh, they are unfortunately exported in a raw EC format that we've converted to a, the, the more standard PEM format. All right, so um, I see uh, root pub key dot pem and targets pub key dot pem. Okay. I just guess you know what I never did, but yeah, that looks like a pem. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they, they are exactly as, as one would expect normal and format of public use. Perfect. All um, right. We are back in that directory. I'm going to remove okay. the last of the UBHSM 2s, UBHSM 3. Uh, still that serial number. Box it on up. And then I'm going to get another tamper evident bag.
and the serial I have is zero zero one three two zero zero four six two yeah nailed it so I'm gonna put the security pin and that into the bag Roll it up to remove some air. And then pull the little sealing strip. Clean to seal that. Okay. Uh, could you read the serial number out for the bag itself? Yep, I have A5885680205. Okay, and I'll read that out too. I see A5885680. Okay. All right, so I think we can probably take a small breather. Yep, between... so now we are officially 50% of the way done with the ceremony. <laughs> Huzzah. And you know what really hit me just a moment ago is it's October 30th. Yep. <laughs> mm. Should have worn a costume. <laughs> uh, I thought about it. Um, okay. Just gotta catch my bearings a little bit. Let's see what's happening in chat. Somebody said one of the things almost came into focus. And I'm assuming they're talking about the tiny thing. Yeah, uh, the, the last one was, was almost there. <laughs> oh, so there was a good point. The run book says seal then label. Um, the reason why that is out of order was uh, it's very difficult to write on the bag once it's sealed uh, with stuff in it, particularly if it's not flat. Um, I don't think, does that make a tangible difference or is that just an errata? That, that's an errata, but I will, I will note that now. Um, it, it currently says uh, seal then label. So I'm gonna reorder those to uh, label and then seal. Um, it shouldn't make a difference as long as uh, everything is fully on camera, which it, which it is. Okay. So let me make a note of that. Seal and label should be label and seal. Uh, thank you to whoever brought that out. Uh, so watch your hand with the roller cutter. I've cut myself before. I thought about that. Wouldn't that have been terrible? This is a ceremony requires a good sacrifice. That wasn't in the run book. Uh, I'm actually going to label these real quick. Uh, the stubs. Yeah. Uh, to match while we're sort of chilling. Mm -hmm. That's UBHSM3. Yeah, and, and this isn't specified anywhere in the uh, run book, but um, the stuff should be kept for, for uh, record purposes by either the legal counsel of the PSF or some other uh, member of, of, of the body. Yeah. That must be okay. So I'll take pictures of these when I can figure out how to keep them flat. Stubs, we got dumb bags. I'm gonna just try to get tidied up a little bit so we don't have a complete mess. Is that on camera? Yep, that is perfect. Sweet. Oh, dang it. Uh, you, might, you might want to push the nitrogen sounds a little bit more in your frame. Or just, like, just, there you go. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot to put these in there. Um, I'll upload the image of the disambiguate, disambigu, disambiguation chart. Your handwriting? Okay, yeah. perfect. That way somebody can make a font. Would somebody please make a font with my handwriting? It's very bad. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I want to make an errata to that notes that the uh, the font chart or the, the handwriting chart was not added to the bags. Well, I don't think it was specified either. It, it wasn't though, but I'll, I'll just yeah. I guess um, that shouldn't be a problem as long as, as it's part of the public results that we upload to the repository. Cool. All right. Ready to roll? Okay. Yeah. Let's move on to Nitro HSM uh, number uh, Nitro. So this is this is part, partially my fault. This is Nitro HSM signing body ID number four. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which is which is the first. Nitro I like that it fully specified basically. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. Sh should I should I just should I include these in the next ones? Uh, in include them. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, that. Yeah. I, I see no reason. Not. Okay. All right. So I'll put them nearby so I remember too. All right, so I'm going to write down uh, just what I need uh, for my notes all at once. So it's going to be four, five, and six. Is that correct? Yes, four, five, and six. Okay. All right. So first step is I need to determine the current security officer pin, which will be the default since none of these have been provisioned before. Okay. And I, I can read it out to you if you want me to read it to you as you type it out. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. So these are not uh, security sealed and they also have no identifying mark. Yes, unfortunately. Um, not even inside the little cap. So should I still take a picture? Yeah, I'll still take a picture of them just for, for completeness to say. All right, so I'm gonna insert this into the Raspberry Pi, which currently has a flash drive, a keyboard, and two empty USB-A ports. It now has Precisely, exactly one Nitro key HSM. Okay. So now let's uh, run the Nitro HSM provision script. Great. Um, I'll, I'll actually pause for one second. Okay. Should I pause the recording or pause everything? Oh, no, no. Sorry. I just, uh, I, I forgot my own one for a second. I forgot whether or not the key generation is, is a separate stage or not, which it is. I was confused as to why there was no type listed for the provision. Okay. Uh, that's because that comes up here. Okay. Yes, so let's uh, move along with step four of the Nitro HSM provisioning process, which is to run the Nitro HSM provision script and pass it your SO pin, which is the default one, which I will now read to you. Yes, thank you. Okay, your default pin is 35, 37, 36, 32, 31, 38, Three eight, three zero. Okay, uh, reset and provision your nitro case for tough purposes. <coughs> yep. Continue to the factory reset. Yep. Cross our fingers since. Okay. Oh, all right. So I have the pre generated pen yes. for this. Or pen. Yeah, security. Yeah. So for those who are, are curious, um, the uh, UBHSMs are provisioned using the. Um, uh, use, not using PKCS11. So they don't use a normal security officer and pen combination. Um, they use their own authentication key system. Uh, but these are provisioned using PKCS lines. They do have a security officer pen and normal pen. Okay. And I'm ready to type this much longer one. Yes, unfortunately. It's a 16 character long one, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. A lot of dice rolls. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I'm not mad. This is kind of fun. All right. And I'm going to re enter it. All right. Okay. I'm going to 
enter the new user pen. User pen did not match. No. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, just rerun the sentence steps. Um, you will have to use the. Um, um, okay. Uh, give me one second. So, because it has provisioned with the new SO pen, uh -huh. um, do you have a backup SO pen generated? Because we're going to have to enter a new one or obscure the screen somehow. Um. I think obscuring the screen probably is easier at this point since I can just obscure this part. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that should be fine. All right. Why, I'm, why don't we, yeah. I'm going to need to find. I'm, I'm going to make an errata that we should generate, pre generate extra backup. Oh, yeah. Pens. Heck yeah. All right. So I'm going to use a tamper proof bag, finding uses <laughs> for them already because they have a sticky thing. It should stay put. Okay. Thank you, Tamper Fruit Bag. Very versatile. Okay. All right, that looks good to me. So press no to continue. Okay. Or it's rather to not continue. <laughs> Stay there. Okay. Oh, foiled. It. But well, why? Oh, I didn't. I didn't back. <laughs> oh, I think you're typing then on top of the pre-existing pen. So I leaked one character of the SO pen then. Um, I think that's okay. <laughs> it's. It's. I think if I, if I remember correctly, it's. Uh, uh, 16 alphanumeric. Yes. Yeah. Um, that should be okay. We can also destroy the... Let's see. Um, one character. I think that's okay for now. Um, I think the other option would be if you have a dice, nearby or a die nearby oh yeah uh, you could roll and just amend that, that last night perfect um, yeah you should roll out, outside of the view of the camera oh for sure <laughs> all right so i need to go to the pre-ceremony again yep. so i'm going to remove the one i leaked and append Perfect. This is also a good time to note that I should change the provisioning scripts so that they don't uh, die when you re-enter. I should just re-ask you, ask you over and over. So I'm going to make a note to do that. Cool. All right, let's try that again. All right. Nothing so behind the curtain. Sure yeah. Apparently the obscuring worked very well. <laughs> yeah, so make sure your pen is cleared to begin with, and then yep. that's okay. Oh, so I need to put in the one I just... Yeah, so I need to put in the, the the previous one. Yeah, you should put in the one that you have um, just modified, just it with, which is the one that has not been updated yet because of the leaked character. And so if that worked, I typed it right. Yes. Yes, continue. Yes. And soon it'll be scrolled off the screen too, so you can probably move that in, in a, a few lines. I'm going to leave it for a bit. Okay. 
Um, so this will be the same pin as before, but with that one character updated. Yeah. Okay, got that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so I believe... There, you no longer have the SO pin on your screen, so you are now safe to remove the tamper out of your bag. I'm going to leave that just in case something goes wrong. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's uh, say out loud the serial number. Yep, so I am showing serial number D as in Durban, E as in Ernest, N as in Nitro, K as in Key, yep. 01301189. Yes. I'm going to okay. write that down over here. Um, my, my pet theory as to why it always begins with D and K is it's Deutschland Nitro, nitro Key. Aha! Uh -huh. I guess. <laughs> um, okay. All right, that's written down. I'm going to cover up the security and user keys. Yeah, make sure that you've amended the security officer pen. Yes. Inside of the note. Okay. Yep. I uh, So just for reference, I put an asterisk through the character that was leaked. So that is not trying to type that character and an asterisk on top of one another. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide that into this bag so it doesn't cause us any more trouble and then move this out of the way. Yes. So now we are going to uh, run the generate nitro HSM keys script. Okay, do I need to change directories? Yes. Uh, no, you do not. Okay. Okay, and because this is nitro HSM key, uh, signing body ID number four, our key type is P384. All right, so I'm just catching back up. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's written down. I'm going to say generate nitric HSMs. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm going to need to put the pen in, so dang it. Yep. Yeah, I, I can read it out to you if you. No, no, not the pen, uh, the serial number. You don't need to. Yeah, I, I w it's going to ask me for my user pen. Um, oh, right. Sorry. Yes. Noted. Feels like handling like radioactive material, <laughs> especially after what just happened. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Generate nitrates and keys. Type P three eight four. And as your serial number, you're going to pass in the serial number that was printed out. The Once. entire one? The entire one, yep. So I have D-E-N-K-0-1-0-1-8-9. Zero one, what is it, sorry? Zero one zero three one eight nine. Okay, I wrote down zero one three zero. so let me, let me fix my note. Zero one zero three one eight nine. That yes. Three one eight nine. Will this conflict if that's not correct? The, the only reason it needs the serial number is that I can put it in the correct subdirectory. Okay. Um, so at, at the very worst, it's sort of a transposition error, um, and we have a, a lot. Oh. Of, All right. Uh, I just I just leaked that entire that entire thing. I paged up too far. I tried to page up to get the serial number. I'm gonna need to generate a whole new. Yes, open. What's that? Did you leak the SO pen? Yeah. So I'm going to need to generate a whole new one. I'm going to put my hair up and then get get the dice rolling real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right. So. Uh... That's okay. <laughs> That's why we gave ourselves. Oh, it was right there. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. So this is yes, generating different or generating uh, backup pins would have been a really good idea. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put a big asterisk next to that or a big star next to that. That is really a pain point. Okay, so I am completely obscuring the old one. I'm gonna find my dice, die. And I'm just gonna get to work. Yep. And you should not have to modify or use your pen. You can use the pre-existing one. This would be an amazing attack if somebody pulls it off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for those who are curious about the sort of security properties connected to the security officer pin, um, having the security officer pin would not allow you to export the private key, but it would allow you to perform um, either modify it or to over or to delete it from the HSM. Um, so even if it was leaked um, and someone came in the HSM, assuming that the HSM has normal physical properties in the HSM, um, they should not be able to disclose uh, the key. But just for safety, just for the key, and, uh, <laughs> get a new one anyways. I, I could use the backup one I did generate, remember? <laughs> Back when I did gamble, though, craps was one of my favorite games, so. Just eight more rolls. Or more, I guess. Yeah, in case you hit one of the asterisks. <laughs> Darn it. I was going off the wrong key. <laughs> <laughs> All right, starting over. I don't even have my snack. That is the right key. Yes.
Oh, Frank woke up. <laughs> You're doing this again? It was annoying last time. Independent oversight. Oh, he's it's he's mad about it. All right, freshly minted. All right. Okay. Well, the good bit is you can now fully leak that old modified SO pin. For those of you guessing along at home, if anyone can get it right in the chat, we will send you a sticker full of any PSF sticker you can imagine. Yeah, so, so I, I can't tweet right now because of all of that, but if anybody wants to tweet CE9FAF8D7DB26C4C, that'd be great. Um, yeah. And anybody who gets that reference is officially in the, I don't know, in the club. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to confirm the serial that was printed last time was uh, DENK0103189. E-N-K-0-1-0-3-1-E-9. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Just in case. I'm just kind of, I'm just very afraid now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pin incorrect. Oh, because it changed. Yes. Oh, and for bonus points, yeah, the second character E was replaced with an appended A. Yeah, I totally caught that because if you did that three times, the if someone would have to enter a failed deadly state, we would have been uh, that would have been hard work. And the keyboard, yeah, perfect. Okay, Here, let me switch back to the steps so I can follow along with you. Okay. Yeah, so you're gonna now enter your freshly minted new SO pin. You can tell it's more secure because it's way less convenient. Please do not type wrong. So let's let's confirm that serial number one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna mark I'm gonna mark through on this to make sure that it's all yeah. burnt. All right, I have uh, D E N K zero one zero three one eight nine. All right, that's what I have. Alright, so I'm running okay. generate nitro HSM keys. Oh, wait. Your that's right. That's P384. Huh. How do you how do you clear screen on that? Uh control L should clear the screen. Thank you. Oh, that's a relief. 
All right. Okay. So now you are typing, you're passing in P3A4 as your type. P384. Yep. I'm passing, in. passing in the serial that was printed out previously, which I can read back to you. The entire thing, right? Yes. Okay. Capital D, capital E, capital M, capital K. Uh, 010 3189. Okay. Confirmed. That. Entering the user pin. <laughs> Here we go. Off to the races. Is any of this information important? This is all publicly. Uh, well, I just mean, like, should, it, should I take a picture of it or anything like that? Um, that shouldn't be necessary. It should all be logged, and it's all, um, for people who are, who are watching along, what you're seeing here are the public PC parameters for the public key that is being generated. Um, so you could reconstruct the public key from these, but we'll also publish it as a separate PDM, so you won't need to. Okay, um, now let's check for um, the presence of that, uh, that directory within the ceremony products. Should be under BDNK 01031895. I see PIMS okay. and PUBS. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Uh, in that case, we are going to remove the HSM. Happily. <laughs> Give it its okay. hat. We're going to uh, store it in its uh, bag with the original, with the security officer pen and user pen. The new one. Yes. Okay. Place that in a temporary bag. Oh, we did it. The next one should go so much faster. Yeah. Well, you worked on one case. Should be. Uh, should be fine. <laughs> it's famous last words. And for reference, that is Nitro Key HSM signing body ID number four. And I have D, D, N, K, zero, one, zero. Yep. Three, one, eight, nine. Three, one, eight, nine. And I just realized that there is a typo in the attestation model that I generated. I will fix that too. It says Nitro Key HSM four twice. All right, so I'm going to seal this up. Then I'll throw in the helpful thing, why not? OK. All right, so. Let's read this here off. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do the stub at the same time. Oh, excellent. So nitro key HSM four is in evident bag five eight eight five six eight zero one. Five eight eight five six eight zero one. Yeah. Okay. Um, five eight eight five six eight zero one. Got it. Let's all seal this stuff. Uh. Okay. Next up is Nitro Key HSM signing body ID number five. Oh, thanks. Seth, no, it, to be careful with the removal to not have it obscured by the shield. That's a good point. Thank you. All right, next one.
looks just like all the others. <laughs> yeah. It is unfortunate that these don't have any public identifiers, publicly or, or physically visible identifiers. I shall call you Nitro Key HSM2. Uh, so I see. Uh, five. Oh, the five. All right. Uh, so the. I'm going to go ahead and fix it on these two. Mm -hmm. The insert that just went in that bag says one. Okay. Okay. All right. So I see a flash drive, keyboard, two empty USB slots. It just okay. goes in. It blinked. And it's inserted. Okay. So now let's run the Nitro HSM provision script with our default security officer then. And I can read that out to you again. And we're going to use 30. Uh, be very careful when you're doing the reverse side search because you could leak the. Um, the one that we just provisioned. No, because we didn't. We didn't. Uh, that never hit the command line. We could relink oh, yes, right. the leaked one. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> the uh, joke. At this point. Whew. I scared myself for a second. All right. Time to focus. All right. Yep. It's resetting. More sugar might help. Yeah, these these ones do take a little bit of a time, a little, little bit of time, a little bit of time can be said. All right, we are okay. going. Uh, the, Okay, yes, your keyboard is obscured. Can I backspace? Yes. Sweet. At least you should be able to. This thing, the, the teletype is yes. Okay. All right, we're. All right. I'm showing a serial okay. number of D E N K. D E N K. I'm not taking that for granted. Zero one zero. Zero one zero. Two nine four seven. Two nine four seven. Okay. D E N K zero one zero two nine four seven. That is correct. Okay. Okay. So we are going to now, this is signing by ID number five, which is a P two fifty six type key. Okay. So D E N K zero one zero two nine four seven. Yes, and I can read that from your screen. So that and P two five six. P two five six. Uh, I can see the top of your fingers. I couldn't see what you pressed, but yeah. So those are those are just function keys. Okay. Okay. EC two fifty six. Okay, so I don't need the pins out anymore, right? No, you don't need the pins out. I don't like the pins anymore. I thought they were cool. No, it's a massive pain in the ass. 
Okay, let's confirm that uh, subdirectory was created in the ceremony products uh, with the name DENK 01029472947. Yep, I see PIMs and PUBs. Excellent, okay. Let's remove the HSM. Another tamper evident bag. Uh, PSF tough nitro key. This is signing body ID number five. And I have D E N K zero one zero two nine four seven. D E N K zero one zero two nine four seven. I should read the serial, uh, the bag uh, ID out. Yep. Okay. I'll do it once it's serial. Uh, so it is sealed, and that went into bag A58856802. And I'm doing a stub now on 58856800. Six eight zero zero. Okay. Okay. Here we go. That's good. Okay. This is going to be nitro key HSM signing body ID number six, which is a key three eight four. Okay. Once again, take photos and looks like all the other nitro keys. So I went to Joshua Tree National Park once. Uh, so I see a flash drive, a keyboard, two empty slots, and now exactly one nitro key HSM inserted. All right. And I was there with actually the remainder of the PSF staff. And by the end of it, I was so tired of seeing Joshua trees that I was like grumpy about it. Cause like, it's just all Joshua trees and they all look the same. Some are just much larger. All right. <laughs> okay. You're going to run nitro your subdivision with the default security officer then. Uh, I'm going to get my new pins in place. And that default pin is eight, three. It begins with three, five, three, seven. Boom. Yep. Okay. And then I saw a very, very big Joshua tree, and I actually was like impressed. Like I had, to, I had, I had to admit that yes, that 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 was pretty fun. Okay. Oh, they matched. Cool. So I'm showing it as provisioned. 
for serial number as follows. D E N K. Okay. Zero two zero. Oh. Interesting. Zero four seven three. D E N K zero two zero zero four seven three. D E N K zero two zero 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 four seven three. Two zero four seven three. Yeah. D E N K zero two zero zero four seven three. Yes. Okay. I wrote that down too. Okay, so. Generate nitro H S M keys P two five six. And we're doing D E N K zero two zero. Oh, uh, no, this is P three eight four. Okay, thank you. All right, three eight four. Serial. D E N K zero two zero zero four seven three. D E N K zero two zero zero four seven three. Okay. It's a generating. What do I do with the notes for the serial? Should I just take a picture of it? Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna get the pen out of here. Remove the cardboard for the last time. And we'll go in the bag. Okay, now let's confirm that D E N K zero two zero zero four seven three is present with all four expected files. Pub key for root and targets PAM and pub. Okay, why don't, why don't we just uh, cat one of those PAM files just to make sure that we're not totally off base here? It would be wild to me that. Yep, okay. I see PIMS. Fantastic. Okay. Remove the HSM. In that case, we're going to remove the HSM. Oop. And put it in its bag. And there's there was there's no nitro key down there. PSF tough nitro key HSM six six yep with serial number D E M K zero two zero zero two zero zero four seven three zero four seven three And that's going in bag five eight eight five six seven nine nine. And I'm gonna write my receipt. And receipt for bag five eight eight five six seven nine nine. Five eight eight five six seven nine nine. Yep. All right. Okay. We are now done with the six prior version steps. Huzzah! Oh, no. The scary yes. ones are all done. Yes, all of the hard parts are done. Uh, 
Okay. From here, we are going to copy the ceremony products directly to the flash stick, which should be mounted as slash media ceremony products. Yep. Uh, capital R. What is the capital R? I, 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 well, I always forget whether or not a lowercase r works, but I know that uppercase r does. <laughs> I think this, this is like a GNU versus BSD. Okay. Uh, classic spotlight. Yeah. I'm just going to do a. Uh, uh. Um, why don't you just yeah, list the subdirectory and we'll see. Alright, I see 461, 460, 462, 189. Yep. Alright. Okay. Let's let's run sync just to make sure everything gets flushed. Okay. And now you can uh, change directory or no, you're, you're, you're in fine directory. Uh, you can unmount media ceremony products. Okay. And uh, remove the flush thing. I just wrote that isn't listed. I'll, I'll make a note of that. Okay. All right. Um, I have a backup flash drive. If we want to make a backup flash drive and then shut it down, or do we idea. want to do the other? Do we, do we want to do the part that? So the issue that we realize is we don't actually have as part of the ceremony where I plug this into my computer and commit them to this repository. Yeah. Um, so do we want to just leave the pie running? Um, why don't we make a copy of it right now to another flash stick? Okay. All right. So I have a, a backup of the same exact material that was used for this. And it's identical flash drive. It's a different SD card, just in case. I'm not going to use the SD card. Yeah. You can read out the command if you want. Yeah, I remember it at this point. Yeah. Media, ceremony, products. Darn it, I don't actually remember it. Uh, dash U? Dash O. Uh, dash out o u mask equals zero zero zero. All right. And oh. <laughs> okay. And four six one four six zero four six two. Great. Okay. Let's sync. And one mount. Okay. All right. Should any special care be taken for the SD card in there? The SD cards uh, currently contain in the bash history the publicly disclosed security officer pins. Yep. They shouldn't contain any secret information. I think the safe thing to do is probably just to zero them out. I'm okay. going to add that as an errata. Um, I, I see. I see no reason why. They should contain anything sensitive, but just as, as a matter of. So I should do that in a post ceremony, or should I try to do it right now? Um, why don't we do it as part of a post ceremony? I think you, two of us can stay online. Okay. Um, and do it, but I don't, I don't think it needs to be done right now. All right. I'm gonna write that as an allotted as zero. So percent. I'm gonna shut this down now. Yes. Bye bye. All right. So I have two discs or two flash discs with. Uh, the keys on it. One's going in my computer right now. I guess I guess I can just turn this camera around at this point, or should, should those stay? Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, let's see. Um, I mean, they're they're sealed in bags, and we have receipts. So, and, I, and we have a, a verbal record of every receipt that's been allowed. So, it should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. This is getting weird now. Uh, Oh. 
Yes, and I think what we're going to want to do is we're going to com want to commit this to. Um, we'll, we'll create a directory called like ceremony, and then such a directory that is today's date. Ceremony. I'm just going to create the branch now. 2020, 10, 30. So I'm going to do what now? Uh, in, in the root of the repository, let's create a directory called ceremony, and then a subdirectory of that called to today's date. And then I think let's just do a, a full copy of everything that came out of today's ceremony into that. Um, and then at a, at a, in a later commit, you can add the photos. Um, stripped of access if you want. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I was playing. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, apparently we have a git ignore for ceremony products, but that should just be in yes. the root. Yeah, that's because of <laughs> when I was testing that. Okay, let's confirm just to make sure. I mean, not, nothing, it should be impossible for us to commit anything that's private, but we have uh, pub keys. Do we have attestations in there? No. Also a get ignore thing? Probably probably a dot DER. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Woo, there we go. All right. So four six zero, four six one, four six two. Great. And yes, I will read off the SHA. I will read off the SHA uh, for Seth. And I guess I should probably sign this commit. Yeah, if, if you have a um, a PGP key on this on this computer, that's probably a good idea. I got one on that UV key. Uh Add ceremony products from 2020, 10, 30, key signing, ceremony, key generation, and signing, ceremony. Yeah, and so then, you know, at a later date, we'll have to select three of these six keys to actually do the initial rooted targets metadata generation list. All right, who knows how to sign a commit? Uh... <laughs> uh, I think it might be, don't, I don't do, don't do this quite yet, but I think it's, it's git commit dash s or dash dash sign maybe. Git commit dash capital S. Do I need to configure something probably? Yeah. Yeah, capital S. What do I need to add here? Um, here, let me pull up. Let's do some quick get debugging. <laughs> um, in my case, I have user dot signing key is equal to my uh, GPG key ID. And it's what user? Uh, signing key. Underscore? Sorry, uh, no, well, one word. And then for, oh, and then I have a section called commit. And for that, I have GPG sign. Okay, I, oh, no, it's already committed. So do I need to uh, recommit it? You might have to recommit it. Um, you could probably do uh, git commit amend 
that should. Well, it should have asked me for. All right, so I'm just gonna do. Well, I'm just gonna get check out. Oh, I'll get reset. Yeah, it's Git. Git got us. Oh no. All right. Um, sign a, a commit that's already been made. Well, I guess that's not really ideal, is it? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Git reset soft. Yes, those are the words. <laughs> Thank you so much, Seth. Feel like again that should have prompted me. Dang it! Uh, what, what command line are you passing? Git commit. Yeah, it, I, it was the wrong s. Yeah, s is yeah. Lowercase s is sign all five. <laughs> gotta gotta look it. Who doesn't? <laughs> oh, I almost did it again. Boom! We did it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Boom. All right, so get show. I have a, can you see the screen, Shaw? Yeah. I have E77DB08E2EF8060E36706C2EE. Six five nine nine A one E seven B F one one four zero one C F. All right. Okay. Yep. I see the branch. I'm going to confirm the head right now. All right. I see commit E77 uh, DB08E 2E F806E 3670C2EE 6599A1E 7BF1 one four zero one cf and it looks like we have committed a bunch of pub keys and some binary, binary junk and it looks good <laughs> okay all right so and we have a net total of one two three four five six pub keys uh or sorry uh 12 pub keys because two for and yeah, let me make sure to count that one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, twelve puppies. Sweet. Okay, that concludes the primary part of the ceremony. Okay, so uh, I think I definitely need to take a break and just walk around, but I don't really want to like completely just like bail on all of this because we do need to do some cleanup. Uh, yes. Let's. Uh, I, at this point, we have bags. Uh, is there anything that should be handled carefully at this point? Yeah. Before um, I just like so, go off screen. Yeah, the only thing that should be, um, the only thing that is even potentially sensitive at this point uh, that isn't attested for inside of bags are, are those two flash sticks. Okay. So what? So, and 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 the SD card. Sorry. No, yes. I'm sorry. I meant the SD cards. Uh, the flash sticks are not sensitive. The SD cards potentially, just by virtue of some kind of cache or something. Uh, okay. Device. 
may potentially have sensitive information. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to take a, a tamper-proof bag. I'm going to put the SD cards, the Pi, and... You put the flash sticks in there for good measure. Yeah, and, and then just call that the bag. And then uh, the stubs should just be held on to, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to put the primary one in its own baggie so it's identifiable. Go away. I don't like you anymore. The Pi should go off at a PyCon auction at some point pretty well. <laughs> the unused one. Alright, so what I think we'll do then at this point, that's bag A5885678 in case we need anything from it. So I'm just going to label it remnants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you and I should zero those SD cards. I just want water real bad. I got through that bottle way faster than I thought. Ceremony. Remnants. All right. So while we take a short break, if there are any questions in the chat, uh, people are welcome to ask them. It looks like there are still 23 folks actually streaming. So thank you for hanging around. Um, yep, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull the chat too so I can try to answer questions. Yeah, and then I, I, I just figure we'll let them queue up or, or we could also review what's there and then uh, we can, sure. uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I, I need water real bad. <laughs> and I need some Twitter, you know. made a snap decision and I went with uh, a different kind of water. All right, so I'm going to, uh, I think we can stop recording everywhere so we can get the streams. Yep. Okay. Oh, I never recorded on Zoom, so whatevs. Um, but it looks like we got it on OBS. So, and it looks like we were about two hours flat, so. Yep. For reference. Yeah, I think I estimated a half, half version of that, so it's pretty good. All right. Um, oh, that's a great question. Oh, how the keys map to the path? Yeah. Yeah, so the answer to that is um, the path designates um, a, a number of tough walls. Um, these keys uh, form the, the top two hierarchy of those walls. Um, the, the root keys are used to sign the root level metadata inside of PEP 458. Um, and then the targets keys are used to sign the targets metadata in the PEP. Um, there are even further levels of delegations and keys that are actually kept online uh, and will be generated at a later date as we actually deploy TUF. Um, but they, they, because they'll be kept online inside of probably a cloud HSM service, um, we don't need to go through this kind of offline ceremony for them, or pseudo offline in this case.
Oh, people are starting to drop off. Come on, who's got questions? And somebody's asking about yeah. questions or comments or thoughts. Yes, sorry. So the serial numbers correspond to um, the HSMs themselves. Each HSM contains two keys, uh, one for root and one for targets. Uh, if you look at the just committed files, you will see the public keys for each of roots and targets for each HSM. Um, so the, the overall model is there are six HSMs. Uh, you need a three of six quorum for signing operations. Um, and each HSM, or, and sorry, you need a three of six uh, signing quorum for, for both root and targets. And each HSM, HSM, each HSM contains one root and one target uh, signing key. Hopefully that explains it. Um, there, there is also a um, screenshot in the repository, or not a screenshot, a, a render in the repository under the assets and directory uh, that shows the various key delegations. Um, I can link that in the YouTube chat, I believe, if I'm signed in. Uh, no, I'm not signed in. Um, but it's, it's, in, it's under uh, assets, tough, key gen, attestation model. Um, and that shows the full um, chain of attestations all the way up to the hardware uh, signing keys. Um, one issue that we ran into is that the, we don't currently generate the attestation keys for the nitrate sounds as part of the ceremony, just because they're currently, they're generated in this weird German government specific format that I just could not figure out in time. Uh, however, they are on device and should uh, one of the PSF admins or IPI, sorry, IPA admins or PSF members want to verify them in the future, they're easy to extract. Yeah, so Santiago's asking when we're actually going to start signing stuff. So this ceremony is sort of the first step. Uh, there is a, a PR and draft, um, and there is, my understanding, an implementation fairly well along um, for the actual online stuff. So the implementation is the first step. The second step will be myself and William collaborating to stand up the, the needed uh, online key handling stuff. Um, so we have a couple decisions to make. We should probably meet the week after next. I won't be in at all next week. Um, but we should meet the week after next and just talk about what infrastructure we need. Um, I think from the PIP side of things, the VMware team uh, has been making significant progress on implementation of verification of the current impl draft implementation mm -hmm. via PIP. So... Um, PIP releases are quarterly, I think, right now, or monthly, one or the other. Um, and so, you know, PIP probably won't merge that until PyPI is, is publishing that stuff. Um, I would hope before the end of the year. I think that seems completely reasonable, William. I think so. I think um, now that we have this in place, the only thing we actually have to do is, I, I need to um, merge the latest tough changes in the branch back up today and, and sort of figure out the final little nitty gritty details of how we're, how we're fetching keys from our online key store. Um, that's something that I, like I said, I have to talk to you about, uh, or like you said, I have to talk about. But that's, that's just really a matter of, of writing the right boilerplate services to fetch those. Yeah. And uh, Donald has confirmed the PIP is quarterly release. So there's a release scheduled for around this time. Uh, the PIP team has been really busy with um, getting the new resolver work done. Uh, also to talk, hey, we'll spin it right back into the PSF. Uh, so there's a, a PSF managed uh, grant from both the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative and Mozilla Open Source Support uh, that, has, that has been doing a year long project, including like, seven contributors uh, who were being paid to work on not only the implementation of the new resolver, but also the user experience for it. So uh, that has been consuming a lot of PIP sort of brain power. Um, so I would, I, would, I would highly doubt that either this release or the next one would, would, would contain any of the, the PEP 458 implementation, just because this the next release which i think will be probably next week or the week after 
um, will be mostly focused on the resolver, and this and the next release will probably include quite a bit of uh, you know uh, tidying up around that. So yeah, I think that's I'd say first quarter next year for PIP uh, is 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 a good target. Yeah, I think that's probably reasonable. Um, Neil asked why we're choosing the NIST suite B algorithms, not uh, the Edwards curves. Uh, Edward, uh, Edwards curves. Uh, the answer to that is, is hardware limitations. Um, the UV keys support Edu5509 uh, key pair generation, but they don't support attestation of those key pairs. So we could conceivably generate uh, root and targets key pairs on the UV keys, uh, but we'd be unable to attest that they actually were in fact generated on, on, on those keys and not just generated on uh, a normal computer. Um, and then the nitro keys, unfortunately, just do not support Edwards whatsoever. Uh, they only support Sweet Bay. Um, so uh, we sort of made a uh, logistical decision to only do Sweet Bay. And then Santiago again says they're very excited uh, and hyped to see the new resolver, and a lot of exciting stuff is happening. And that stuff happens because of money. Um, Money is definitely the, the aspect that helps move along big, hairy, just like monumental feeling tasks. So the packaging ecosystem has in particular benefited from uh, funding through grants and donations and stuff to implement uh, this work, uh, some work that happened earlier last year around security on PyPI, the PIP stuff, uh, a big suite of things, including two-factor authentication for PyPI, uh, API keys for PyPI, which Trail of Bits and William also worked on. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the, the biggest one, which feels like yesterday, but is apparently forever ago now, but like bringing the new PyPI uh, into reality. So, uh, you know, if, if you're watching this and you uh, <laughs> either just have a bunch of money or uh, more more realistically, you work for a corporation who is benefiting from Python and Python packaging being better and getting better. Um, funding makes a huge difference. And so uh, the, you can go to python.org slash PSF and sort of link through there to find out opportunities for sponsorship as well as just ways to directly donate. Uh, if there are projects that you would like to see funded, definitely reach out to psf at python.org um, and talk to us about the projects you want to see funded and how you think they could be funded. I'm pretty exhausted and I'm afraid of the things that might start coming out of my mouth if I stay on a live stream. So I think it's time to, time to end the live stream. Uh, Will, any parting words or thoughts? Uh, no, I just want to say this uh, has been a pretty pleasant ceremony. We only had one pickup and we, we routed through it. And we did it. Uh, All thanks to one tamper evident bag. <laughs> yeah, we have a list of errata that we will be adding to the repository, uh, or rather amending the runbook with, uh, so that future runs will uh, hopefully be more pleasant. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks to Ernest and everybody at PSF. Um, it's been a pleasure over the last, uh, both the last year working on this and then previous years working on the API keys and Work, yep. uh, to work with PSF. So thank you. Always a blast to work with you. All right, so thanks everyone who's tuned in. Uh, we're going to stop the live stream uh, and we're going to discuss the next steps and sort of the post cleanup stuff. So have a beautiful day and the recording of this should be available. It's a very long video and so it will depend on the way YouTube processing works or whatever. Uh, there was a user who asked a great question around if we could host it somewhere else. Um, we probably can. It'll depend on how big it is. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, watch the uh, Python Software Foundation blog at pyfound.blogspot.com uh, for sort of the wrap-up announcement from this ceremony for all that information. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everybody.